Okay, here's a tip on how to, to know what a patient's average blood glucose is based on their A1C level. So, as we know, A1C is a measure of long-term measurement of average blood, blood glucose because it's a measurement of red blood cells. Red blood cells live for three months, right? So they, each A1C correlates with an average blood glucose, okay? All you have to do is memorize that an A1C of seven is a blood glucose of 155. So seven is 155. After that, all you have to do is know that for every one level of A1C you go up above seven, you add 30 to the blood glucose. So for example, you're given a patient in clinic. This patient has an A1C of 10, say. Okay, well you know that you're gonna have to go from seven to 10, which is three. Okay, that means you're going to have to add 30 three times to your already present 155. Okay, so you do 3 times 30, which is 90, and then you add 90 to your baseline 155, and that gets you 245. And if you look on the chart, a 10% A1C is associated with a 240. Uh, blood glucose, which is not exact, it's five off, but it gets you close. You can do this mental math in your head under pressure fairly easily, depending on how good at math you are. So just remember, 7% is associated with 155. You add 30 for every one A1C you go up after that. Okay, and that's it.